Hi, my name is Benzigo Johnson, and this is my senior project for Bowie State University's Music Technology Program. The title of my senior project is Hear the Sound of Music Using Sibelius Notation Software. First, let's talk about a little bit of background about myself and how I got started within music. My interest in music started early in my life. My family would give me instruments like the drums and keyboards as gifts for my birthdays or Christmas. In elementary school, they offered a music instrumental class. That's how I was first introduced to learning instruments. I was influenced by my family to first play the saxophone. However, by experimenting with different instruments like the saxophone, violin, trumpet, I was bouncing around to different instruments. I soon found that I liked the trumpet better. Since then, I've played the trumpet. Uh, throughout my time in high school and middle school, I picked up different instruments like the French horn. I took music and art lessons with the piano and guitar. So now let's go back to a little bit more background about myself and music. Music and me. So I continued in the band program in middle school where I began to focus my talents on the trumpet. I joined the school's concert band where we performed at many recitals and ceremonies. In high school, I joined the jazz band and marching band, including still the concert band. This really expanded my views on music and what it can become of it. I learned many different things from high school band just about the fundamentals and principles that it took to play certain music, understanding and reading music. I learned many different skill sets during that high school and middle school program. Also during middle school, a little bit close to high school, I got an iPhone and I began to experiment with GarageBand. From there, my interest in creating music grew. I decided I wanted to become a music producer, and study music in college. Now let's take a look at what actually sparked my interest inside of GarageBand. So if you don't know, GarageBand is an Apple product and is usually on all Apple products like computers, iPhones, and tablets, iPads. GarageBand is a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. A DAW allows you to record and create music digitally. GarageBand was my introduction to creating music digitally. Using GarageBand sparked my interest and I wanted to learn more about music production and the technology that is used to do so. In GarageBand, I'll always use loops, as you can see in the picture to the right. The blue clips and rectangles right there they're called GarageBand loops. I will use those and use my musical ear and talents to try to copy and paste things together to make a song. And me playing around with that on my iPhone at a young age really interested me. And it became a hobby of mine to where I wanted to learn more and really understand what it was that I was doing. So let's continue. So now we came to college. Why Bowie State University? First, Bowie State University was close to home. Bowie State is in Maryland. I grew up in Maryland around Upper Marlboro area. Bowie State being an HBCU also made me feel more accepted compared to other schools. It's just something about knowing that the teachers, the faculty, and also the student body all can, can share some commonalities with each other. I wanted to major in music to become a music producer slash audio engineer. I, at that time, I didn't have any specific job I wanted to do in the music industry, but I knew I wanted to create music and possibly work in the studio. So over reading over the music technology program, I saw that it suited what I wanted to learn. At Bowie State University, I was introduced to many aspects of music. 
but writing and composing music was what I was what interests me the most. Taking music theory classes where we've learned more and helped me compose music more is skills that I will always remember. So now let's get down to the focus of the project, Sibelius Ultimate. Sibelius is a notation software. It allows you to create, edit, and print slash export your sheet music or scores. Sheet music and scores is what you notate on the piece of paper so the musician can play live. The unique thing about Sibelius is that it can play back what you have written with sampled instruments digitally. So if I want to preview what, I, what my song that I just created before I record it with the band, I can do that in Sibelius to preview what my song is sounding like. Sibelius makes the process of writing for musicians easy. It offers the many different tools that you may need when creating music. But before you actually start creating music, it's important that you understand the key concepts of and the ranges of what those instruments have. So let's look at understanding the instrument. Each instrument has its own unique sound range. A range is the distance from the lowest note to the highest note an instrument can possibly play. Understanding this allows you to know the possibilities of that instrument when creating a musical part for it. Along with knowing the range, you should also consider the playing ability of the person or group you are writing for. And you can see to the picture to the right, there's different instruments in all the ranges of their notes that they're capable of. Knowing information like this allows you to write music in a way that people can actually play it on a specific instrument. For example, it allows me to know that when I write for a trumpet, I'm not writing anything out of its register that the person can't possibly play. It's also good to know the abilities of the people you're writing for. Because there's a difference between writing somebody that's on an elementary school level than a professional level. So know all those things can help you notate and write your music in Sibelius more easy. So now it's going to inputting the parts into Sibelius. Once you have some understanding of how each instrument or the instrument you want to use in the in the song, you can then begin inputting the parts into Sibelius. Sibelius offers many tools and features that allow you to create a score with ease. Sibelius offers all, if not most, musical symbols that help you organize the score so the musician can understand and play the music. Sibelius offers a digital keypad, which is to the top right picture, where you can use a quick keys to input certain notes or symbols. Sibelius also offers compatibility with MIDI controllers and other input devices to help your workflow faster. So now, let's go to my song, Hear Me, original song written by myself, Benzego Johnson. Hear Me is a song I created. I wanted to practice the skills and techniques of writing music for a brass ensemble that I've learned throughout the years of my study at Bowie State University. The song was originally written to have two, two trumpet parts, a trombone and a tuba. The song was titled Hear Me because it's about someone coming of age. It's like a coming of age story, and I wanted to tell the story of their journey through music.
that right there was just a little sample of how it sounds in Sibelius. Those digital sampled instruments that we can use to preview our song, that's how it would sound playing it straight from the computer in the software. So now let's, let's take a look at inside the song and different components that I used to create the song. Let's take a look at the top two brass instruments that I use, the trumpets. Here on the screen is two sheet music of the score that the player would get and play. When creating for Sibelius, I had to understand the concepts and the common things people would do when writing sheet music. How they would notate for that specific instrument, what register the instrument is in, what signs and symbols I should use to make it all easier for the, for the instrumentalist, the musician, to play the song. For example, in the first trumpet in B flat on the left side, you can see that the register is a little bit higher than the second trumpet. I did this because there were two parts and I wanted to expand upon the harmony that I wanted to bring out. Let's take a look at the bottom brass, the trombone and tuba. Another symbol that I use to help the flow and to help the musician understand the music is the letter symbols. The letter symbols let the musician know where in the song they are. So if we ever need to pick a spot and practice it, rehearse it, we can just say, go to the C section. And we do a counting and we're gonna play there. It helps organize the piece of music for us to know where we are in the song. Now here's a live performance of Hear Me. So now you can tell the difference between digital and live performance. We walked all through the steps of bringing the actual sheet music from digitally to the stands in front of the musician. So let's watch. And that's me on the far right, playing the trumpet. Okay, now let's move on and talk about what some of my future plans are. Hear me, moving forward. Moving forward, I plan to continue my education for a master's degree in audio technology at American University. 
I also plan to continue to compose music for many different ensembles and create music for film, TV, and artists. Thank you so much for viewing my project. I really appreciate everybody who views it. And to stay up to date on my latest works or just to stay in touch, you can reach me at Instagram, the link right there, or my email right there. Thank you. Peace.